Welcome to Tesla Global, the home of the latest Tesla and electric vehicle news. Today we take a look at Tesla Model 3 strangely misses top safety rating from Korean agency also, Tesla Model S Plaid crashes during Nürburgring testing and finally Tesla Model 3 on autopilot hits highway patrol vehicle in Florida. Tesla Model 3 strangely misses top safety rating from Korean agency. The Tesla Model 3 has received stellar ratings since its first tests with safety agencies across the globe. From the NHTSA in the United States to the NCAP in Australia, the scores of the Model 3 have remained excellent, if not close to perfect, over the years. This streak has unfortunately been broken, with safety tests from the Korean CAP resulting in the 2021 Model 3 failing to receive the agency's top marks. A video uploaded on the Korean CAP YouTube channel showed that the 2021 Model 3, just like in previous tests with other agencies, performed perfectly in crash tests. Numerous crash tests were conducted on the Model 3 by the Korean CAP, and each time, the vehicle was able to protect its passengers very well. Thanks to these, the South Korea-based agency granted the 2021 Model 3 with a perfect 5-star rating for crash safety. Following tests on pedestrian safety and accident prevention safety systems did not have the same results. As per the Korean CAP's tests, the 2021 Model 3 actually hit some of its dummy pedestrians and cyclists at several speeds. This resulted in the all-electric sedan gaining only 3-star ratings for pedestrian safety and accident prevention safety. The raw scores in these two categories were below 60%, which was a stark contrast to the 99.6% score that the Model 3 earned in the CAP's crash safety tests. The 2021 Model 3 then received an overall score of 83.3 points, which still translated to a Tier 1, 5-star, safety rating. But due to the vehicle's subpar performance in the pedestrian safety and accident prevention safety metrics, then CAP opted to give the Model 3 a Tier 2, 4-star, rating instead. There are a number of variables that are unknown for now, such as the software that the 2021 Model 3 was running when it took then CAP's pedestrian safety and accident prevention safety tests. It also remains to be seen if the vehicle used in the test was using Tesla's Pure Vision system, whose first iterations resulted in the Insurance Institute for Highway Safety's IIHS, temporarily removing the Model 3's top pick rating in the United States. Fortunately, Tesla is quite obsessive with its vehicle's safety scores and performance, so it would not be surprising if succeeding tests from the cap would result in the Model 3 gaining a perfect rating. This is something that Elon Musk has mentioned in the past, after all. Tesla Model S Plaid crashes during Nürburgring testing. A Tesla Model S Plaid crashed at the Nürburgring Raceway in Germany while several vehicles were on track attempting to set time records on the taunting 12.94 mile course, according to reports. The Model S Plaid, Tesla's fastest production vehicle, was sharing the green hell with a 2022 Corvette Z06 prototype and a BMW M8 test mule, according to Road and Track who originally reported the crash. The Model S lost control in the Klostertalk Urban Kilometer 14, which comprises a series of sharp, paper-clip-like turns before extending into a straightaway. The BMW crashed as well in the Kesselken sector, which is located in Kilometer 12 of the 20.82 km track. The BMW crash was more severe than the Tesla accident as the German automobile collided with the barriers at a high rate of speed. Meanwhile, the Model S Plaid suffered an impact with the barrier at a lower rate of speed and was not as damaged as the BMW. Both drivers are believed to be in good condition. Tesla has been at the Nürburgring on and off for the past two years, first making an appearance in October 2019 at the track with the Model S Plaid. The trimotor powertrain was spotted in late 2019 sporting a massive rear diffuser for aerodynamic performance, a rear spoiler for more downforce, and a wider body style than its Model S P100D predecessor. Tesla developed the car for several years before finally delivering the first units of it in June 2021. The Tesla Model S Plaid undoubtedly isn't the first victim of the Nürburgring, and it definitely won't be the last, either. Unfortunately, there have been 69 competitive deaths at the Nürburgring, with another five fatalities happening during testing. The long, treacherous, and intimidating course has its fair share of sharp turns and long straightaways, intense enough to baffle even the most seasoned drivers. The prestige of holding a speed or time record at the ring is almost indescribable, so it's not surprising that some competitors have pushed it to the limit at the track attempting to set their names in the record books forever. The Corvette prototype at the track was attempting to break a time record at the ring, along with nearly 10 cars, including the McLaren 765LT and a Cadillac CT5V, lined up for hot laps during a two-hour long session. Tesla Model 3 on autopilot hits highway patrol vehicle in Florida. 
A Tesla Model 3 struck a Florida Highway Patrol FHP, trooper's vehicle on Saturday just weeks after the NHTSA established an investigation into the semi-autonomous driving functionality. The driver and FHP confirmed the vehicle was operating on autopilot. According to the Orlando Sentinel, a 27-year-old was driving his Model 3 westbound on Interstate 4 near Orlando at around 5 a.m. Eastern Time on Saturday morning when the vehicle struck a highway patrol vehicle that was stopped on the side of the road to assist a disabled automobile on the shoulder. The driver stated that the vehicle was operating on autopilot, according to FHP and ABC affiliate WFTV9. The driver of the Tesla, along with the owner of the disabled vehicle, had minor injuries. The trooper on the scene was unhurt. Interestingly, the accident occurred just weeks after the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration NHTSA, opened an investigation into Tesla Autopilot. The agency told Teslarati that it would investigate 11 separate instances of accidents that occurred under autopilot operation. However, several of the accidents in the investigation were ultimately not the fault of the system itself and was actually a result of gross negligence by the driver. Two of the 11 incidents being examined were caused by the driver being intoxicated. Another was caused by a driver with a suspended license, and four were the result of incorrect autopilot use. Because of its unfamiliar nature to many people, autopilot receives a bad reputation and is often misrepresented and misunderstood by media and critics. Tesla Autopilot is not a fully autonomous driving functionality and is standard with every Tesla from 2017 or later. Tesla has never indicated that autopilot is a replacement for human drivers and has said on numerous occasions that the system must be used while the driver is fully attentive and still focused on the road. To operate autopilot in a vehicle, the driver's hands must be on the wheel at all times in case of a needed intervention, and the wheel has sensors that confirm the driver is still maintaining ultimate control of the vehicle. While the driver told FHP that the vehicle was operating under autopilot, it is still the responsibility of the driver to maintain control of the vehicle. Frequently, the autopilot and full self-driving suites are abused by some. When these irresponsible acts of operation result in an accident or injury, Tesla takes the blame and not the driver. Unfortunately, this is not an accurate depiction of how safe autopilot actually is. Tesla reports the safety of its vehicles every quarter, with the most recent statistics revealing that vehicles operating under autopilot are involved in accidents significantly less frequently than human drivers. In Q1 2021, the company said, we registered one accident for every 4.19 million miles driven in which drivers had autopilot engaged. For those driving without autopilot but with our active safety features, we registered one accident for every 2.05 million miles driven. For those driving without autopilot and without our active safety features, we registered one accident for every 978,000 miles driven. By comparison, NHTSA's most recent data shows that in the United States there is an automobile crash every 484,000 miles. Do you think autopilot needs to be regulated via a test for drivers who want to use it? Let me know in the comments below. If you enjoyed the video then please leave a like and if you are new then why not subscribe? Thanks for watching.